Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Now, the next topic is yam. The botan botanical name of yam is Dioscoria species. Dioscoria species. Dioscoria species. Yam belong to the group of crops called roots and tuber crops. It's an underground storage crop and supplies man with carbohydrates. There are several varieties of yam. We have them on the board. This is good number one, white yam. That's Korea Rotundata. This is combined yam around that we boil or fry or cook and pan. Commonest in Africa, especially in Nigeria. That's Korea Rotundata. That is what yam. Then we have water yam. That's Korea Alata. This is commonly eaten by the Jebus in Ogo State. They use it to prepare what we call a kokore. It's a bit um, watery. So the yam is a bit watery, soft. So it's called Dauscoria alata, water yam. We have area yam, Dauscoria bobifera. It's not as common as the first two. We have yellow yam, Dauscoria cayenesis. Yellow yam is a bit common. It's a, in the Jesha, they call it Ishu Olo. That means yellow yam. And it's very sweet when cooked. It can also be padded to yam. That's Korea, Cayenne, Cicelo yam. Then we have bitter yam. That's Korea, Dumetu rum. So people call it uh, trifolate yam. In Yoruba, it is called Isuru. It is common in Ushubu, in, Ubu, in uh, Oyo State. Um, Ushubu, in Ocean State. It's common in Ushubu, in Ocean State. Isuru. In English, it is called trifolate yam or bitter yam. It's not actually bitter. Just call it that name. Its specific name is Dascoria uh, Dumetorum. The last one is called Chinesium, Dascoria and Sculenta. It's also very scarce. Dascoria and Sculenta. Okay, lamp preparation. To cultivate yam, you will need to use cutlass to clear the bush. And then you level the soil and use hooves to make ridges. Or another way around, you can decide to use machine. You plow the bush with plow, you harrow the soil, then you make ridges mechanically. You use a machine, plow the soil, harrow the soil, and then you reach mechanically. Climatic and soil and the soil requirements. Yam requires temperature of 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Yam requires temperature of 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. And the rainfall between 100 centimeters to 180 centimeters per annum. 100 centimeters to 180 centimeters per annum. It also requires abundant sunshine and a well drained, sandy, loamy soil. Abundant of sunshine and a well drained, Sandy, loamy soil. Methods of propagation. How do we propagate or plant yam? What we plant yam is called yam set or yam seeds or yam mini set. Now, what is the difference between yam set, yam seeds, or yam mini set? A yam set refers to the pieces of yam which have been cut from original yam. As now, this is a yam tuba. This yam tuba cannot be cut into sections. Each of these sections is a yam set. This yam set now. I can break it out like this. This is a brownish back. This is the cut surface. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yam set. Snap pieces. Each of these ones is yam set. We can plant that right. But also I want to call yam mini set. This yam set can be cut to pieces, tiny, tiny fragments, which is called yam mini set, and grow in the nursery for some weeks. After that, we now remove it and transfer it to the farmland where it will be germinated permanently or grown permanently. But if you don't want to use yam mini set, you can use yam set. 
or you use yam seed. What is yam seed? Yam seed is a whole yam that is planted without cutting them, but it's small in size. Unless this is small yam now, it's small yam to buy, very small yam to buy whole. It's too small to cut to pieces, so we can plant it in the, as a whole. Once you plant a whole yam, it has more big into the soil. It's called yam seed. But when you cut the yam into pieces, it's called yam set. But when you now cut that piece to a tiny portion, which are good to go in the before you take it to the farmland, it's called yam mini set. That's how we plant the yam. This great. We use about one seed, we use one seed yam or set per hole. And about five tons of seed yam per hectare. Then planting it is yam is planted either early or late. Early yam is planted between November and December, while late yam is planted between March and April. Planting. All the plant means you plant yam set or yam seed at an angle of 45 degrees in the soil. You open the soil and you dig it to about 10 to 15 centimeters deep. And you position the yam inside of it at an angle for 5 degree with the cut surface facing up, covered with soil. Before you plant the, plant the yam, you must have dried it under the sun and also apply a chemical known as adrenaline dust. This adrenaline dust will prevent termite attack on the yam seed in the soil. Then, um, spacing is done less centimeter by less centimeter for the yam set or yam uh, seed. Meanwhile, the yam mini set is 25 to 100 centimeter in the nursery. Cultural practices. These are things to do after you planted your yam and before you harvest. The first one is mulching. After you planted yam, you cover the soil with dry leaves so that they can, they can conserve moisture for the yam seed so that the yam seed does not decay. Two, you also prevent the yam seed from scorching intensity of the sun. Then the next to it, regular weeding. For regular weeding, what you do is um, you make sure you weed it, clear the weed as small as early as the weeds appear. Then you have fertilizer application. For this application, you use about four bags of fertilizer per hectare. That means 200 kg of NPK or H1 per hectare. Then staking. Staking in involves the putting of sticks at each ridge uh, so that the leaves of yam, which we call um, vine, can be turned and be um, clipped around the sticks. Then the vine, that's the rope like leaf of the yam, on the zone can climb those sticks. That process is called the training of vine. Now, the maturity period of yam is between. 8 to 12 months after planting, harvesting. Yam can be harvested with use of cutlass. What you need to do is when matured, you cut the vine off, then you dig around the yam tubers, and then you pull it out of the soil. <laughs> Processing. Yam can be processed to yam powder or flour, or you can consume it locally as it is uh, produced. Yam can be stored as and it burns. It can also be stored in form of yam flour and in dried, peeled yam tubers. Pest of yam. Yam tuber, the pest of yam include yam tuber B2, yam shoot B2, and rodent. The yam B2, either yam tuber B2 or yam shoot B2, make hold on the yam. And the rodent eat the yam on the farm and it is stored. Disease of yam, this include yam music disease. Viral is a viral disease caused by virus and affects the leaves, change the color of the leaves. Then yam rot, it makes the stem to be rot and full of watery and decay. Yam leaves but affect the crops of the farm and affect the leaves so that the tuber formation will be very poor. All these are all about yam.